No, it's Chef Deeds. All right, guys, so welcome to the first video of 2021, and we're gonna be cooking some pork butt. I'm gonna get it cracking for you. This is a pork butt, also known as pork shoulder. This is the uh, left cheek of the butt. All right, let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking here. Woo! There's uh, Chef Susie. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rip this open just like this. I got this from Butcher Box. Now, I'm not a Butcher Box, uh, they're not my, um, they do not pay me. So I'm not promoting, I don't have a promo code, maybe one day, um, but I'm just, but this will get be able to get a realistic uh, sampling of the uh, Butcher Box. I did make one of these the other day and it turned out really, really nice. Oh, the people that tried it said it would, they, they just couldn't stop raving about it. So basically what I did was I put the pork butt on top of a bed of onions. And you can uh, come over here and look at these onions. I poured the juices right down there. Get a sniff of that butt. <laughs> okay, the second, thing, uh, the second thing to do is put some incisions in the butt. So you want to pierce that butt right here. Okay, just make a few <laughs> incisions here with this knife. Just stab right into that bad boy. Okay, let's find a few good ones here. All right, and all right, that should be good. Why are we making incisions into the butt? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I have here some garlic cloves. We're going to stuff those bad boys right inside the, right into the butt. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to stuff these cloves. Yeah, so basically I cut up some cloves just like that. And oh man, this is a greasy butt. <laughs> uh, we like uh, cloves. They, uh, they're really, they got a lot of good properties. Peekaboo. Yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is actually really nice to uh, to do this. So this is the first video of 2021. I have been off the charts for quite a while now, and I'm I missed you guys. I missed the subscribers. So happy to be back. Uh, let's see, just a few more of these guys. If you need to make a few more incisions, see, I have a lot of cloves here. So if you need to make more incisions, that is totally fine. So the next thing, the next thing to do is probably wash your hands off a little bit because you touch a raw butt like that, and you need a <laughs> yeah, you need a little bit of a of a hand washing because you know proper hygiene. Um, hope everyone's been stay, staying safe uh, since I talked to you all last. Uh, okay, so I just get a little quick rinse. You don't have to go crazy with it, just like that. I always like to a little get a little uh, face wash in there. All right, next thing will be done rather shortly. Don't you worry. So the next thing to do is to put some olive oil. Um, oh, where, where did the, oh, olive oil, right here. Okay, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So you go ahead and I have some minced garlic. I use this garlic mincer to mix, mince that garlic. And now I'll go ahead and olive oil it up. Uh, this is a really good uh, thing. Let, Let's see how much we're gonna get. However much comes out, that's how much we'll use. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe we need a little bit more. Okay. A little more. Okay, this one is organic olive oil. Don't worry. Okay. That should be good. So we're gonna use this oil to rub the butt. Okay, and we're gonna put some salt. So you can just get a spoon and fill the spoon in, um, with the salt. And then if you guys want a measurement for how much olive oil, uh, looks like I got about three quarter cup here, but you can, you can always change it to taste. And if you need a little bit more garlic, you could always use some garlic powder. This is what you could use as well, garlic powder, if you don't have the proper uh, garlic. We also have onions in there, but you can also use some onion powder, especially if you're not uh, using onions. And then maybe you want to do um, some juice here. 
So here's some uh, here's some juice. This is actually not from concentrate, so that's a special treat. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Oh wow. Okay, one, two, and then you can squirt a little bit on the butt if you like. There you go. Okay, and then we got two. Uh, we're going to use two of these uh, about maybe two spoonfuls of the uh, adobo. And I'm gonna, it'll probably be a little bit more than that just because some is overflowing when I, or when I say teaspoons, I just mean like use a normal kitchen spoon because you don't have to be so exact and perfect with it. Okay, there we go. And then some black pepper. Oh, you know what? I gotta get this pepper. Holy schmuggly bones. Oh, and why not? Some paprika. Okay, so a little paprika in there and a little over here. Oh, wow, that's gonna be a spicy butt. I tell you. Make sure you get some pepper in there. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of the butt. Make it a salty butt. Now, I have done a uh, video of this before. But, oh, I put a few. But, Ron. I put a, a few more. Um, uh, oh, here's some basil. Could use some basil. I have a special treat for how I'm going to prepare this butt today, and that is because I have bacon here. And here we go. And before I put the bacon on, I'm going to um, I'm going to rub the butt with the. Um, the rub, this is the rub that I have here with all the uh, seasonings and everything from down in there. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna cook this butt for a uh, period of about, and you're gonna wanna rub that in. I'll do that in a second, but you wanna cook it on 300. So I'm gonna put it to here to bake and I'm gonna put it like you're, you might probably want to preheat the oven before you even start. Um, but, uh, okay, now let's start.